Hey Cancers, this is your monthly reading for you and your person. So for any of you who are dating someone, dealing with someone, talking to someone, getting to know someone, <laughs> this is for you. I'll also pull, uh, pull some cards on a crush or anyone that you may be interested in. So for singles as well. Alrighty, here we go. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Happy birthday, Cancers. It's still Cancer season. So you are still getting spoiled by being the first of all the readings this season. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me adjust to my camera just a smidge here. Okay. Alrighty, Cancers. Okay, we already have one to flip out. So we have the Ten of Pentacles for... Um, one of your cards, 10 of pentacles. So someone could be thinking long-term. You could be thinking long-term divine spirit, Holy spirit, Holy angels messages for cancers and their person for this month. What do they need to hear and know? What's the mutual energy between the two ace of wands. Ooh, lots of passion and attraction toward one another. Wanting to start something with a lot of passion. What's your energy toward your person? Three of Cups. So the two of you could be dating, newly dating, going out, having drinks, having fun. What's their energy towards you? Ten of Cups. Ooh. Wanting to see something through long term. And this is all the initial energy. And of course, we'll clarify. And then what's the potential outcome this month? The Star card. Mm. So there's hope for this connection. Um, the two of you could also be giving each other a lot of attention right now. At the bottom of the deck is Page of Pentacles, meaning the two of you are talking, communication is flowing, or that is the desire. Okay, why is the Ace of Wands here for the uh, mutual? Let's see. We have the Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Ooh, so the two of you could be very protective over each other. I want to say that. And also, um, it's the energy of like, there's a connection here, two of cups. The connection is there. Um, but someone may be afraid as well to take this further than just talking on the phone or, uh, you know, a few dates. Okay. Someone may be blocking this from moving forward. Hmm, because all of the right cards are here, but it's like someone could be blocking at this moment, meaning blocking emotions, or maybe it's hard to get through to this person. It's hard to sh see their feelings. Both of you may be acting this way. Why is the Three of Cups here for your energy? We have the Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups, lots of cups here, <laughs> and Five of Wands. Okay. So you want to date, you want to date cancers, okay? But you may feel conflicted or you may feel like this person feels conflicted when it comes to what they want with the nine of cups energy. You may feel like they're keeping their options open with the seven of cups. Um, and you may feel like, okay, well, what do you want? Do you know what you want or who you want? You may feel like there's competition. Why is the 10 of cups here? for how your person feels toward you. Ooh, okay, they're looking at you as the Queen of Cups. We have the Two of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so your person, they want the Ten of Cups. They want emotional fulfillment. They could imagine themselves being married or in a relationship, um, maybe at some point, but they're seeing you as the Queen of Cups, which you are, Cancer. So they... They love that you're loving, nurturing, caring. They feel that you are in your energy. But then the two of wands, they're not sure what path they want to take just yet. Nine of wands, they could be uh, irritated with trying to figure out like what they want, okay? Um, they may also feel like you have a choice as well um, to pick them or to pick someone else. Why is the star card here? for the outcome for this month. We have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The Strength card, Leo energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. 
all earth sign energy. So this is saying like, almost like have hope with the star card, have hope because it's like with the queen of pentacles, someone makes you a queen of pentacles. Someone brings in a long-term situation here, it makes you a queen of pentacles, makes you a wife, a husband, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, someone brings it in. Yeah. It could be a Leo or someone with Leo in their chart, or I feel bravery with this card, with the strength card. As I touch it, it feels like someone who's very brave, someone who's willing to approach and offer you the big coin. There we are. Ace of pentacles. Okay. So it's like someone comes in have faith, but I feel like both of you are kind of questioning where is this going to go? Where is this leading? Can this lead anywhere? Even though there's a lot of passion between the two of you, it's like the both of you are still questioning this connection. Okay, so let's get some insight. Give me some insight for cancers in this situation for this month. Let's get some insight. Oh, we pulled two. Oh, soulmates and I like you. Wow. It says... Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. That's what I was feeling. Like you want to date, they want to date. Y'all both want the same things, but it's about making like the first step or someone speaking up to get to that 10 of pentacles, okay? And then soulmates, definitely soulmate energy with that two of cups coming out right at the gate, um, at the... Uh, top for the mutual energy. So there's definitely a soulmate connection here and potential for something. But look at the bottom of the deck is the runner. Like I said, someone is running from this connection, um, their emotions, running from their emotions and blocking. Okay. The two of you could be doing this as a self-protection uh, method, like how you go as a defense mechan mechanism. That's what I'm trying to say. As a defense mechanism, the both of you may have your guards up and you have to let your guards down and not run from what you're feeling. And um, so if this is not you, then vice versa. This is your person, uh, what I feel very strongly, okay? So let's get into the single spread. What's going on with my single cancers? Single cancers, not dealing with anyone. Single cancers. Single as a Pringle, what's going on with single cancers? What do they need to hear and know for this month? Single cancers, what do they need to hear and know? Whoa, Ace of Wands in reverse. Single cancers, okay. You're not feeling the fire. You're not feeling the love. The same card flipped out in reverse for singles. Wow. Okay. So you feel like no one is hitting you up. No one's calling you. You're not talking to anyone. What's coming in for single cancers, single cancers. What's going on with, okay. Okay. We had a knight of swords that wanted to stick to my hand. Yeah. So you could be wondering why love isn't coming in or why, why no one is, I feel like texting or calling you. Like you may be waiting for someone to text or to call or to say something to you. Okay, let's draw. Then we have the hangman. Yeah, Pisces energy. You may be waiting on a Pisces. You may be waiting to hear from someone. Doesn't have to be a Pisces, but this is their major arcana. So you could be waiting to hear from someone or you may feel like things are just stuck, hung up with the hanging man. It's like things are stuck. Things are not moving. You want things to move with the Knight of Swords energy. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini, or interested in one, okay? Let's see. What else for single cancers? What else do they need to hear and know? Single cancers, okay? We have one flip up, the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini, yeah. Maybe waiting for a Gemini to reach out, um, to speak up. I feel like you're waiting for love, waiting for that one love connection to happen. But with the Ace of Wands in reverse, it's like nothing, it's not taking off like you want it to, okay? At the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. You're very focused or someone is very focused on you. Let me say that with the Page of Swords right behind it. Someone is watching how you work. Eight of Pentacles is 
about working or being very focused. So someone could be watching you while you work or watching what you do for work, something like that. Someone is like watching behind the scenes, taking their time with the temperance card. Could be a Sagittarius or someone with that in their chart. Let's get one more for uh, this person. Who is this person spying on cancer or watching cancer for my singles? Oh, it could be an Aquarius for some of you guys. For uh, uh, the rest of you, it, this is like someone who has hope. Someone who could be wishing upon a star, like hoping like one day that the two of you will get together. Why are they not coming forth? Seven of Cups. They could be confused or at this time they could be keeping their options open. Could be a Scorpio for some of you with the death card there. Give me some more insight. Tell me some more about can single cancers and what they have coming in. Single cancers. Single cancers in this situation. The dragonfly. So it says, be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, heal. Okay, so I feel like just be lighthearted when it comes to dating. Don't be so like, when is this going to happen? When is that going to happen? Just be lighthearted. Have fun when you date. Um, Because I feel like things will come to light, just as the card says. Things will start to open up and come to light. I feel like this person, their emotions will come to light. Let's get one more for this person or situation. Date. Yes. Okay. It says meeting someone new, dating, get back out there. That's what I want to say. Get out there. Keep your options open. See who else is out there. Don't focus on one person. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, golden mirror. Look at this. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. I feel like it, it's almost like someone wants you to come forward, but they're not willing to come forward, okay? So it could be very one-sided right now, feeling very one-sided, okay? And then let's get one advice card for a single cancer so over here. Claire Cognizance, listen to those uh, like messages that come through. If you're uh, feeling anything intuitively, listen to those messages because you already know what to do in a situation like this, okay? If they're not willing to come forward, then move on. Keep your options open, I want to say. Alrighty, Cancers, that is your energy for July, the month of July, for you and your person and for singles. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Again, happy birthday and take care. Bye.